finished gym now. Uh, we just had a few hours back at the accommodation because today is actually uh, the first day of competition. So uh, we've got our flying 200 qualification for the sprint this afternoon. Um, so we got up nice and early, headed into QAS, um, and got our gym session done. Um, it wasn't too long, but just enough to sort of get the legs going and sort of maintain that training load. But I've had a couple hours now back at the accommodation, had some lunch, just gone down to the pool and check out what uh, what Lee and James are up to. Leave the track in a few hours, so I'm just sort of killing time at the moment. Not much else to do apart from just hang out. Gonna film a bit of footage, film some training, get some drone shots, get some GoPro shots, because we've got a bit of competition with a PPA vlog, Tom and Bristol filming uh, filming their vlog, so check that out, link in the description. Got some good quality content and yeah, have a bit of a hit out today. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! <laughs> Do you wanna say anything to Luke mate? Cheers for the shout out bro. Cheers for the shout out. Yeah, and this is Lee. He's from the country. <laughs> you may recognise him from his yeehaw in uh in our second video, so Yeehaw! <laughs> but nah. Cheers for the shout out, Lukey. But yeah, as I said just before, chilling at the pool. What's good? Well, hello and welcome to Cycling Australia's National Track Cycling Championships. We're in Brisbane at the Anamir's Velodrome. Thumbnail. Hey. I got a good thumbnail. Look at me. Slow mo. Get the. men's sprint qualifying the your first rider is now out on track with this is james brister the youngster from south australia first rider to go and he'll be looking to get a good line into the fine 200 here and brister is one of those riders that is being looked at for the next generation the next group that may go up into the national program so this should be a pretty good time to start things off now lee hoffman from south australia so second fastest at the halfway point, so 100 metres in, has he held on? Still second fastest, but Tom Cornish is the next one to come. He get himself down to that 10.0. See how this first split is. Pretty good, second fastest. Can he bring it home? Second quickest at the end. Well, Matthew Richardson from Western Australia is the 10th rider to go. Be interesting to see how he goes here. Tom Clark now, another South Australian. He won a round of the Sprint World Cup. It was in Hong Kong not that long ago. And has he held his form? Down the back straight, we get our first indication. Fastest time, 4.913. Will he fade or can he hold on to it? 9.956. And Nathan Hart, the last rider to go in the Elite Sprint. And the quickest, comfortably the quickest at the halfway mark. 9762 absolutely blown them out of the park here. Clark up against James Brister, the two South Australians, so they'll know each other very well. And this is always interesting, not just because they're so closely matched on a time basis, but also because they're training mates, so they kind of know each other's play. So very, very close between these two in outright speed. It'll come down to tactics. That is James Brister at the back and Tom Clark at the front. 
are some tactics playing out here. Brister taking some height. But this is Tom Clark. He really needs to keep his eye on this. Tom Clark with one lap to go now in front. Brister was getting the height, trying to force Clark to go early. And then down the back straight, it's a drag race. And Tom Clark, perhaps the better seated of the two riders, but Brister around the outside. He timed his run perfectly, and Brister goes one up in the best of three in the quarterfinals. So Tom Clark, to make it through to the semifinals, he's going to have to win this one and then the next. So Brister in the first position, looking uh, just behind himself now and trying to focus going forward. This is the one thing with the visors. We talk about the staring at each other in the face. Clark stalking from the back. Very high on the track now. Tom Clark, second position. Brister just slowly starting to build up the pace. Underneath there, a little bit of a force, and now he goes through underneath. So catching Brister napping there, Tom Clark. And he's really put it on as well. So he's opened up a little bit of a gap. Not a huge one. So Brister still is slightly in the slipstream. Might be able to close him down and down the back straight. And he's coming at him, Brister. Tom Clark into the front straight now. But Brister's really closing fast as he comes down to the line. And he gets there. James Brister, very, very good run. Nice acceleration down the back straight. Timed it perfectly to go two up. And he goes against the odds and puts himself into the semis. This is the dual die match now. This is the... Uh, Third of the best of three between Connor Rowley and James Brister. One right apiece. It now comes down to this one. First across the line is the rider that's going to go into the gold and silver medal right off against Nathan Hart. Connor Rowley now just slowly going to the front. Brister straight back over the top. In the two heats they've had so far, the rider that led out coming into the bell was the winner, and it's Brister now that's at the front again. He won the second heat from the front. Connor Rowley trying to do everything he can from behind. Look at him up the track, down the track. Brister just slowly accelerating as he comes to the bell. Connor Rowley nice and high still. The gap has really opened up, and here he comes down the track. Rowley coming at the back wheel of Brister. Brister out of the seat, accelerating. Now he's caught on the hip again, Rowley. Can he fight round the outside? He couldn't do it in the second ride, and he can't do it in the third. James Brister will go through to the gold medal ride against Nathan Hart. He looks pretty fatigued. He's going to have to jump on those rollers uh, and relax a little bit physically and emotionally. These rounds really take their toll. James Brister now in a similar situation to Connor Rowley in terms of that extra ride and the short recovery time from the semi-finals into the finals. Nathan Hart. Also had one less ride, didn't have to ride the first round as the fastest qualifier. He got a bye and went straight through into the second round of competition. So a lot uh, less laps on these big gears for Nathan Hart, the fastest qualifier. He's one up in the gold medal rides and clearly the big favourite to win this one and come away with the gold. Taking some height, but Brister's got speed on the bottom. Right on the bottom of the track now. One lap to go for James Brister. Tactically trying to do everything he can, but his legs just don't have it in him. Nathan Hart, look at that, cruises up to the back wheel. But he did just enough to come away with the gold medal here at the National Track Cycling Championships. Nathan Hart is the Australian champion and a gallant performance from James Brister. He'll come away with the silver. He should be happy with that. tight and I was glad to get through that semi and then yeah into the final with uh, James Brister um, yeah, he, he uh, went to three in, in the semi-final which made it a reason, like he was sort of a bit out of energy in the first one but yeah he put up a real good fight and uh, yeah it was some good fun racing out there tonight.